بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay so let's see some information on the certification exam so it's a computer based exam where you need to register in any of the authorized pearson view testing center so pearson view is authorized testing center for many many of those many exams online exams and even the cisco uh, conducts this exam with the help of uh, pearson view so you can locate the centers here you can use this url or even if you if you if you don't rem really remember the url so basically you can search uh, where you can say pearson view locate as is code test center so probably you'll find some information here so some of the urls which will help you where you can go and search for test center and here you can type in the location where you exactly stay so basically let's say i'm i'm living in hyderabad so probably the nearby city you can locate uh, when you just type in the information you will get the details of those examination centers probably you can click on this urls and uh, and you can contact that particular exam center to register your exams of course there is alternate way you can also go to pearson view website so on the pearson website you can log in and you can create your account if you are doing for the first time and you can register or book your exam on a specific date by paying online as well so that is another process so probably you can do that way or either this way so if you can visit the center that will be like a more preferable option in general okay so you can visit the center if you want or else you can register with a uh, uh, online probably in a separate um, video i'll show you that option as well now the cost of the examination is going to be 325 us dollars uh, currently probably it can change in the future so probably at the time of this class uh, right now it is 325 us dollars and the duration of the examination is around 90 minutes 90 minutes to 120 minutes in some countries which are non english speaking countries so it it can vary but again the official it is 90 minutes only that's the duration and the number of questions you can expect will be 50 to 55 in that there will be different types of questions so those questions i'll be covering in the next slides and the passing score uh, the currently this is something you need to score 82.5% somewhere around 82 85% probably you need to score to pass the examination so again cisco did not mention the points as well what type of question will get how many points that's something uh, like unknown but generally there are some type of questions which has more points compared to other questions i'll be coming to the different types of questions in the next slide now the validity of your certification will be 3 years so if you are certifying today let's say you are certifying on let's say 23 december 2019 let's say probably your certification is valid for the next 3 years so which means it will be valid for 2002 22 december so between this duration basically in this duration if you want to recertify so either you have to uh, pass any of the next level certification like if you have done the ccna exam during this period you have to make sure that you pass any of the next level exam like ccnp or uh, next level certification exam uh, before this date basically like at least 21st december that should be the last day you need to prepare so of course you should not delay that way basically you have to plan this prior uh, maybe 6 months 8 months like that is something recommended so if you don't recertify basically your certification will expire which means this certifications will be will not be valid again means it's not uh, it won't be active it will expire normally so you'll see this expired status normally on your certifications so again the validity information you'll find on this url so basically this url gives you information on the validity again i got some information already on my slide like the validity of your associate professional level certifications basically now it is 3 years uh, based on the cisco updates from february 2020 so it's like 3 years and all your cci certifications will be valid for 2 years so every 2 years if you are a cci certified 
uh, passing the CCI lab exam, then basically for every two years you have to write the written exam or the core exam now. You have to pass or you have to pass another CCI. So to recertify, there are two options. Either you can write that um, recertification exam, like in C every certification have a specific recertification exam. Like for CCNA, you can write again CCNA or you can write any next level certifications. If you are a CCI certified, like I'm a CCI certified in three tracks, uh, my certification is going to expire in the next year, let's say March 2020. So which means before this, I have to either uh, go and write any other CCI exam, maybe any core exam, that is you know the core paper now, based on updates. Or even if I pass, even if I write any other core and pass the lab exam, that will again extend extend the validity again.